This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. For a long period, Pakistan and the United States of America have been two nations that traditionally coexisted in peace and harmony. The two countries have always stood up for each other in the face of hardships such as wars or floods. In fact, there are absolutely no records of any war that ever took place between the United States of America and Pakistan. This paper is about factors that have been driving a wedge in the relationship between these two countries. While some of these factors are internal or arise within the two countries, some are external forces that are beyond the reach and control of the two countries. In the last one or two years, the relationship between Pakistan and the USA has been torn apart by political issues and differences. One such difference is dealing with terrorist groups and militiamen who are causing turmoil in the Middle East. These groups include the Taliban and the Haqqani Network. These groups have engaged in destructive acts that have greatly impacted the nation. Such acts have shaken not only the economy of the country, but also the political arena. The citizens are in constant fear due to the numerous threats issued by these groups. The question that begs to be answered is who is to blame and why? This essay's author strives to illustrate that the accusations heaped upon Pakistan by the United States of America are true. The author will achieve this by writing a commentary on an article that appeared in the New York Times on the 6th of October, 2011. The author will also rely on two other sources to further point out that Pakistan is indeed responsible for much of the turmoil in the Middle East. Gladstone argues that Pakistan's support of unlawful terrorist groups such as the Taliban and the Haqqani have undermined the efforts of the United States of America to restore peace and calm in the Middle East. For instance, the alleged supply of arms and ammunition by the Pakistani to the militia groups in Afghanistan has frustrated efforts to restore law and order in the region. This is because the terrorists receive support from the Pakistani, making them equally powerful and dangerous against the American and the United Nations troops. The major allegation ever made against the government of Pakistan is that it was involved in covering up the exact location of Osama bin Laden, the then al-Qaeda leader. This was a major shock to the international community. Whether this allegation was true or false remains a mystery, but the probability that this was the case before the death of the terrorist is high. This is because quite a good number of substantial evidence confirms this. An example of this is the fact that the Pakistani community, and even some local people, to some extent, knew the whereabouts of Osama bin Laden. However, most of them could not disclose any information to anyone because they feared for their lives. Considering that Pakistan has been the main cause of alarm in the Middle East, one would think that in order to command such respect, the country must have good fortune. However, this is not possible. Virtually all the buildings in the small towns of Pakistan have been brought down by war. Most former inhabitants of these ruined cities have made their way to other better places to live. A preferred destination for the immigrants has always been the neighboring Arab countries. This is because they don't face any religious hostility. After discussing the role of Pakistan in the prevailing war in the Middle East, it now becomes necessary to look at the measure that can be taken against this country in order to stop it from promoting any more crime. In this case, it would be effective if this country would receive sanctions banning it from trading with any other country in the whole world. This act of punishment will lead to inadequacies in the country, which may prompt the government to hold its horses for the sake of peace. But it is not what should be expected. Having known the Arabs only too well, it is most likely that they will keep on fighting to the last man. If anything, the sanctions imposed upon them will only aggravate them and cause them to seek for revenge. Another possible act of punishment would be to ban all travel into and outside of the country. Under normal circumstances, this step will certainly be a big blow to the Pakistanis. However, since Pakistan is a non-tourism country, it stands to lose nothing. This travel ban will only affect a handful of Pakistanis who are probably engaged in international trade or those who plan on visiting their loved ones in foreign countries. 
However, the most ironic part comes in when the United States of America, after having a hard time dealing with Pakistan, still takes no disciplinary measures against them. It would be expected that the USA would take stringent measures to make the Pakistanis pay for all the pain, harm, and loss of lives and property that they have had a hand in causing. Instead of disciplining them, the USA does an even more astonishing thing. Currently, the United States of America spends billions of dollars in military and civil aid to Pakistan. The President of the United States of America, Barack Obama, holds the view that it would be unfair to punish vulnerable Pakistanis, such as flood victims, because of poor decisions made by their leaders and, most specifically, their intelligence services. However, it is a pity that the Pakistani authorities have failed to acknowledge this immense gratitude bestowed upon them. Instead of seeing to it that every flood and war victim has what she or he needs, they are engaged in other activities that will only worsen their situation. From the foregoing, it can be seen that Pakistan has been actively engaged in activities that have facilitated war or even created a conducive environment for war. It has been a major role player in the never-ending conflict in the Middle East. It has also been more of a war maker than a peacemaker. This is because it has allied with terrorist groups such as the Taliban and the Haqqani Network. It can also be seen that although there is enough evidence suggesting that Pakistan has been involved in terrorist activities, no disciplinary measures have been taken against it. Instead, the United States of America has faithfully stood with the country even as it is faced with life-threatening floods. All in all, there is a need for the Pakistanis to join hands, say no to terrorism, and aim at building up a politically and economically stable nation. This essay on Pakistan vs. USA was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.